What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about the new PvE activity, the Endless Archive, which will be coming to the Elder Scrolls Online in Update 40. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my twitter, and of course if you enjoy the video, hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. The new PvE challenge, the Endless Archive, is a unique dungeon-like activity that you can go in solo or team up with a fellow player or companion. The Endless Archive is limited only by your preparation, skill, and determination. This will be dropping with the base game update uh, 40 on October the 30th for PC and Mac and November the 14th for Xbox and PlayStation. This is a base game edition. Of course, you will not have to have any additional DLC or chapters uh, purchased to be able to play this activity. So this will be available to all ESO players. The Endless Archive, you will see you kind of battle your way through dynamic stages uh, and dangers, including monsters and boss encounters drawn from all over Nern. No two expeditions in the, into the Archive will ever be the same, as each stage and encounter is randomly generated. Complete four cycles, each comprised of three stages and a boss battle, and your fifth boss battle uh, will be against a monster unique to the Endless Archive, thus completing an arc. Of course, after you defeat the corruption at the Archive's heart, your expedition does not end there, as you can traverse even deeper into more stages, cycles, and arcs, with the difficulty gradually uh, increasing as you do go deeper into the you know Archive itself. How deep you delve into the Endless Archive is up to, uh, ultimately up to you. While you have a limited number of deaths or team wipes permitted before your uh, run ends, helping you get as far as possible are two unique boons you can collect as you progress. Uh, these will give you temporary buffs you can select at the end of each stage that last until the end of the next stage. So this is going to be something kind of like we have seen in previous arenas and things uh, introduced into the game where you can get these boons. But Instead of only lasting for a short amount of time, they will last from the end of one stage to the end of the next stage. As you battle your way deeper into the Endless Archive and climb the leaderboards, you can loot and unlock a host of unique rewards not found in any other activity in the game. This includes a broad selection of collectibles including a mount, pet, cosmetics, and all new class sets. A new and unique type of item set. Class set buff the abilities for the uh, game seven unique classes providing synergies with specific skill lines. You can collect these powerful new items via loot drops or the archives unique vendor. In addition to the above items and collectibles the endless uh, archive also rewards you with a unique uh, currency. Uh, fortunes can be traded to vendors in the archive starting area for a host of consumables, class items, style pages, and most notably unique buffs for your excursions. These uh, purchasable bu buffs are permanently active for your future Endless Archive runs. For example, some buffs grant additional vision or choices while others simply increase your power. The more fortunes you collect, the more you can empower further expeditions into the Archive's ever-challenging halls. Uh, in the Endless Archive, you can discover a new dynamically generated PvE challenge where no two runs will ever be the same. This does sound like something that I think a lot of people will be interested in. And it's a really unique sounding thing considering your run should never be the same as the thing that you have seen in the past. We'll kind of have to wait and see exactly how that's going to go because there would have to be a lot of different situations, a lot of different enemies to fight or bosses to fight for you never really see the same thing over and over which does sound like a really unique idea also the idea of being able to collect certain things from just this activity something you cannot get at any other location or any other activity in the game is also something i think will draw a lot of people to this kind of like we have seen uh with you know trials in game there's only gear that you can get from trials by participating in that trial there's no other way to get that drop and so this will be kind of the same idea. You're only going to get these unique rewards from doing this activity. And the new class set items, I think, that buff the abilities of the uh, you know all the unique classes we have in the game, all seven of them, I think is something that a lot of people will be interested in, too, if they are good. That's going to be the question I think a lot of people will ask. 
all the sets that are in ESO, there's tons and tons of sets in the game. A lot of them are not very useful. Uh, a lot of people don't even use some of the sets in game. A lot of people don't use the majority of the sets in game. There's only certain sets that are really good. Will these actually be worth using compared to what other options we already have? We'll kind of have to wait and see. But I think the Endless Archive sounds like something that a lot of people will enjoy. Like I said, you can go in solo, you can go in with a friend, or you can go in with a companion and pretty much have a new experience every time you go and also be able to go deeper and deeper into this to see it get more and more difficult. So I'm kind of curious what you guys think. Leave me a comment down in the comment section and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.